If you ladies are having guilt pangs because of those shopping withdrawal symptoms, look at this like good karma. Shop in those enterprises run by government traders or the local Ladakhi people. The livelihood for these traders depends heavily on tourism. Fort Road and Main Bazaar Road are a woman's shopping heaven and come alive with souvenir shops in season. Any shop you walk into in the markets of Leh is crawling with wonderful treasures like the ones I have lined up here. This right here is a turquoise prayer wheel, nothing like one you've ever seen before. That's a jade and silver goblet. That's pure jade and silver. And though it might be a little bit expensive, but it's totally worth the money. With the riot of souvenirs available, like Tibetan masks, jewelry studded with gems, bronze deities, ornate ram heads, oriental urns and prayer wheels, you will be spoilt for choice. The pashmina shawls have enough variety to keep you busy for hours and the exquisite Kashmiri silk carpets are a speciality. With up to 1000 knots per square inch, these richly coloured weaves feel like liquid silk and are worth the money, even if they are exorbitantly priced. But if you're looking for a cheaper option, head to one of these Tibetan markets that spring up on every corner of the main market. The prices come down by quite a bit, but they house most of the same things you would get in the main bazaars or any other such market in India. Singing bowl? Sing? It works! The bowl sings! How much is it for? 1,500. 1,500? Too much to make a bowl sing. <laughs> Thank you, Jaleh.